So folks, let's start maybe a different piece of video here. I don't want to keep boring you with the same pieces of video over and over again. Uh, so I'm going to go to like one of my driving videos here. I'm just going to pull this up. This is 48 frames per second. I'm just driving through some fields and stuff. Let's, let's go through this kind of like residential neighborhood here. This is down east, eastern part of uh, North Carolina. And we'll just pull a few seconds this down. Just ride around looking at folks' houses and seeing how folks live down in the eastern half. Uh, change sequence settings. Yeah, I'll say go ahead and change sequence settings. So we've got a 48 kilohertz or 48 frame per second piece of video here. So i just pull from the source window down to here. And I've got this in my monitor window. So here's what I'm, we kind of want to talk about a little bit more in depth about. We've been putting some titles on here, but we've not done a thing called really a lower third. So let's say we want to do a, a, you know, a lower third here on this video. And we kind of want one of those transparent boxes or something to hang out here. Uh, uh, and I, I've sort of touched on this before, but let's go just a little bit more in depth with it. I'm going to say new title. And there's several things I want to show you in this. We'll call this uh, lower thirds. What well, lower third is is in uh, broadcast. It's, it's it's a little you know a little box you see. And it has type usually inside it, and it comes on. It can go the whole way across the whole bottom of the screen. It can actually be different spots on the screen. Most of the time it is here. So let's go ahead and let's let's say something here. Let's say um, uh, Robinson County, North Carolina. Because that's where I'm tra traveling around. Again, a lot of times I'll put a drop shadow on these things. You don't have to, but I do. And most of the time I like it because it just gives a little bit more contrast against the background. I'm going to go to about 70% uh, shadow. And so it's black. I kind of like my text to be a little whiter than that. For some reason, usually by default, this kind of grayish color comes up. I like to pull it all the way down into the corner and make that text really white. Now let's say uh, even at that, we might be changing positions on the road a lot. Uh, and, and it might get white down here sometimes, maybe go by a sandy place. So we want some additional contrast behind this. We want to know that it's going to, you know, uh, be able to, we're going to be able to read the text. So I'm going to pull a box. Now I've got this, this box is white and it has a shadow on it because we just had this already selected over here. But let's go ahead and let's make this box, I don't know, something like maybe a dark green or something like that. So I'm going to do the field color up here. And I'm going to go uh, on the color wheel here up to the greens. Just kind of click in it. I'm going to make this sort of a dark hunter type green or something, okay? I'm going to say okay. Now, I'm going to make this box less opaque. See opacity here? Let's make this box like 60% opaque. So now we can still see a little bit of the road behind it. Now, it's, it is in, in front of my text. So I'm going to right click on it. And I'm going to go down to Arrange. And I'm going to say send uh, to back. And now all of a sudden my Robinson County, North Carolina is uh, in front of the box and we have a thing called a lower third. Now, so here we go. This, 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 this could work. I mean, you can, now here's something else I want to say while I'm here. I'm not going to do it just now, but let's say you had a picture of, uh, of I don't know, some wood or some, some blocks or some bricks or some nice rocks or a piece of granite. Anything you want, you can import a Photoshop file into this, probably not into this title. There's another way I can show you how to do that later. But you could have an opaque image. And a lot of times you'll see that kind of thing. You'll see gradients. You can do all kinds of drawing things inside inside of this title uh, thing. If I pull this out, you'll see there's you know all kinds of different shapes and things you could use this lower third. So if you wanted a stripe or something under maybe you want a red stripe under this here, you can do that. There's all kinds of, this, this, the sky's the limit. A lot of times, though, I will use an image for this black box behind this. And I, I usually superimpose that image using Photoshop and import a Photoshop file or JPEG or something. So we'll cover that in a future video as well. But let's say you really like this, and this is a, the kind of lower third you want to use throughout your project. You know, what I'd like to do a lot, I like to go up here to the little title selector. And depending on how you got this pulled out, it may, it may see it may go up here. If you have this thing narrow, then things will start to double under. So sometimes people see my videos and say, ah, it's not where it was on the, yeah, it's because I've resized a window or something. But this thing with a little kind of, kind of cascading tease that says templates, click on that. This is pretty cool. You go over here and you click this little arrow. And a lot of time, for a long time, I didn't know this was here. And I can say import current title as a template. And I can say Tony, or at least it's called lower thirds now, but let's just call it Tony's, 
Ah, darn it. Green, lower third. So I say OK. OK, and that saved that as a template. And I'm going to close this. So let's say I'm here I am driving through Robinson County, right? So I want this lower third to come in. I just pull that lower third in, and there's my lower third. I'm going to, I'm going to hold over the end of it here and right-click. You see that little red thing that's on there now? If I do that, I can apply the default transition. We've covered this one before in the past, but I'll keep saying it from time to time. What's going to do it's going to fade in now. I'm going to fade in. And let's say I don't want it to go too long, just in a couple seconds, something like that. And then I'll go here, and I'm going to do this. Okay, so now it fades out. Now let's say that at some point here, right along in here, we decide we've moved into another county, okay? So I'm going to go back to this driving video and grab another piece of video. This is the 13 here. And here we are. Man, we're still out in some country, man. There's all kinds of sweet potatoes and soybean fields and stuff like that. I'm just looking for another. So here we go. We've got some hay bales. Let's show them these hay bales. So I'm going to show them about this much of these hay bales. Okay? So let's say that now we've moved into Scotland County, North Carolina. And so I want to put another lower third in here to say that we've gone to Scotland County, which is close to Robinson County. So I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to right click in here. I'm going to say new title. Okay, I'm going to be, we'll call this Scotland County. I'll say okay. Now instead of having to go build that lower third again, I can go up here and I, and I can see my user templates. And so I can go ahead and say okay, I want that one. And now I don't have to like do that whole thing again. I can just go here and I can say Scotland County, North Carolina. And let's decide, you know, hey, well, hey, is it, is it still editable? Of course it is. Let's say you don't want that green thing to go so far this time. Now, they, this didn't change the uh, template you got. Maybe you, want this, this, uh, maybe you want this text to go a little farther left. So you can... You can edit, and this did not change your template. All it did was you customize your template on screen. So I'm going to say save and go down to here. And so now we've got another lower third you didn't have to work quite so hard for. I'll do my little default transitions to that by right clicking on the ends and applying default transitions. And now what I've got, if I shorten this a little bit so we can go through it faster, let's just do that. I do a ripple delete here. So now let's see what our video is. Here we go. We're driving through, driving through Robinson County, North Carolina. We get over here and boom, now we're in Scotland County, North Carolina. Pretty sweet. So that's how you can do templates and lower thirds. And you can make them a thousand different ways, folks. Maybe we'll explore some uh, different options on future videos. Thanks.